Good morning. Welcome to Camp Kindergarten. All right. I am just pulling up my feed back here so I can see who is watching. And we will get going with our morning together. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. We have a fun-filled day with some fun-filled friends. We've got Policewoman Penny and Pirate Pete joining us again today. Grab my guitar and bring it on over. And let me see who all's here today. Oh, you know what? We need to pull on, put on that light. Not that that helps that much, but that's okay. Okay. Cool. Good morning. And welcome to Camp Kindergarten. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Look. It's beautiful. It's eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Well, it's made me a valentine. Well, tell everybody what how you, what you did. Hey, got a piece of paper, got some Valentine cards that were came from the basement and were upstairs. It's not up on the very tippy top mm -hmm. floor, but the upstairs from the basement. Come on over so they can see you. The middle floor, and then I stuck a heart there with glue. Stuck a heart there with glue. Stuck a heart there with glue. I got a marker out, made like the lips. Put hearts on the lips and then colored it in lightly. Now look. Very good. Well, do you see this giant glue stick? All right. That's mine. You know that every other one's not purple. Uh, well, see, so purple. this is not purple. Yeah. Can you put the lid black? Black on it. Can you put the lid black? Can you brush your teeth today? Yes. Yes, you did. Okay. Awesome. All right. We have some good mornings in order today. Um, good morning <coughs> to Hadassah and Hanaya and Priscilla and Charlotte and Annabelle and Gia and Nana and Mia and Tyler, thank you sweetheart, and Emma and Jocelyn and Dax. Good morning to, whew, good morning to Eliana and Michael and Caden and Violet and Brody and Healy and Madison and Morgan. And Olivia and Lily and Josie. Lu Hi, Louisiana here again. Good morning, Hudson and Stella. Oh, thanks, Olivia, Emma, and Wyatt. Um, me too. <laughs> um, good morning, Layla and Caitlin and Bryce and Haley and Zach and CJ. Good morning, Simone and Audrey K. Good morning, um, another Charlotte and Vincent and Evelyn and Violet. Good morning, Benjamin and Parker. Good morning, Jacob. Oh, glad you're back, Jacob. Good morning, Deborah and Nora and Carson and another Parker and Evelyn and Aiden and Colin and Caden and Tristan and Nolan and good morning to Maddie and Mara and Hadley and Kashaw and Harvey at the beach. Oh, that sounds delightful right about now. Um, where are Har what's Harvey watching us on? That's a good question. Harvey, Kinsey would like to know, how are you watching us if you are at the beach? I'm are all you actually on the beach or are you in a house by the beach? How? I think she's wondering if you're actually at the beach, how are you watching us? Right? On a phone? On an iPad? On a computer? Good morning, um, Mackenzie. And I'm eating where well does her workspace because that's the only page. That's right. Um, good morning, Reese. There um, is another table there and there, but Grandparents' house. Good morning, like, Liam and Bentley and Bennett and um, Mackenzie in Fort Pierce, Florida. Good morning to you all. Good morning from Jada in Bomb, Alabama. I think that's how you say it. Hey, I need a pick. I need a pick. A pick. A pick. I need a pick, and there is one. All right. Okay. Uh, one's not today. I think so. We'll probably need to tune in this afternoon. All right, Harvey says it's too cold at the beach, but you did visit this morning, watching on his on Mimi's. Hold on, little oh, keep Mimi's <gasps> iPad. You have a Mimi too. Kinsey has a Mimi too. Awesome. And my sister. Ah, well, I'm glad that you're with us today, Harvey. We're, we're gonna have everybody else. We're gonna have a week without Camp Kindergarten. I'm gonna so tell them about that in just a minute. No, I wanna tell oh, oh, them. I wanna tell them about one thing. 
you may, let me finish saying good morning to Emma and Nora. Happy belated Groundhog's Day to you too. Good morning, Grayson and Aiden in Kenosha. You're not very far from us. Good morning, Kashav, um, who has this potato head, P for potato head. Um, and thank you, Hadassah, for the compliment. I'm going to do a coat. Good morning, Dax. Dax is six. Is it Dax's birthday today? Or are you just telling me that it's six? Because if it's his birthday, I would like to know. All right. Uh oh. We had another birthday today. And I can't remember whose it was. I wrote it down and then I think I left it. Hey, Kinsale. In my bathroom is a sheet of paper, a little sheet of paper. Can you go grab that for me if it's in there? I, I just want to tell them. Okay, go ahead. Did, did oh, you, it was Sunday. Okay. Yeah, did you know that we're going to have a school a, a week off, a winter week off since last time it was a Christmas week off with St. Joseph week? Good morning, Rex. This week we're not going to have St. Kindergarten, so we can watch TV and learn things every night. So what Kinsey is telling you, I decided last night that um, with me getting our house ready to sell, um, and uh, uh -huh. it, it's been very stressful, and it has been very, that means um, there's a lot to be done, and sometimes it's a little overwhelming. Um, I decided I was already taking Monday off because we're getting pictures taken on Monday, so I think what I need and what the girls need for next week. We're going to have a little camp kindergarten winter break next week. And we're not going to have camp kindergarten next week. We're going to take a little bit of time just because I think the girls need a little time and I need a little time. And um, we're going to have a week of, of camp kindergarten winter break. Um, when I used to teach kindergarten in Chicago, um, the school that I taught at, they had, they had, they called it Christmas break or a holiday. Uh, nope, there's another sheet of paper, but thank you. Can you see if there's another sheet of paper in there? In your room? In, in the bathroom. That's in, where I found it. Can you see if there's another one in my bathroom? Um, <clears throat> they had a, a holiday break at Christmas time, or um, Hanukkah time, that time, that for two weeks. They had a winter break in February, and then they had a spring break in um, like the end of March or early April. So I thought, you know what? Camp Kindergarten is going to have a winter break next week. And also that's going to help me because I still need to organize all of the closets in this house. So I'm going to take that time and organize the closets. So I'll remind everybody each day that next week we will not have Camp Kindergarten because we're going to winter break. And that means that you get to... I checked everywhere on the bathroom and I couldn't, couldn't find it. Okay, thank you. You get to have a nice what relaxing... Is this? Can you actually go put that back? That's my list of things to do when Papa gets here today. Okay? Sebastian, um, how are you feeling? I'm feeling happy. 
I'm feeling tired and energized at the same time because I'm excited to get um, everything in its place. How are you feeling today, Ken? understanding about next next week. Um, I think it's important that we realize I made my batter sandwiches. There are two different kinds of I think made. it's important that we realize when we need what we need to do for our own bodies and what we need to do to be successful. And Mommy, sometimes can, look at can this. you just not interrupt? Sometimes as a parent um, we have to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves because if we can't take care of ourselves then we can't take care of our kids. So, um, next week off is me taking care of myself. So, um, Kinsey, um, can you come on over and sing the ABCs real fast so I can run into my bedroom and see if I can find my little piece of paper that had the birthday on it? Come here, sweetheart. Good morning, Callum and Gracie and Brianna and Sawyer and um, uh, well, Stella and Sophia and Lorraine. And, okay, Kinsey's going to come over. And she's going to come over right here so we can see your sweet little face. And she's going to sing the ABCs for you. You may sing along with her while I run into my bathroom because I wrote down whoever's birthday it was today and then I left the paper in there. Okay. Are you ready, Kins? Go ahead. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job! Perfect timing, and I found it. Boom! And I was right. It was Scarlett. She's turning four today. All right. Oof. Let us do our phonemic awareness. All right. Let's see here. Good morning, Nora and Gigi and Xander. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay. We started some new things this week. So let's see if we remember them. Okay. All right, I need to grab my word family. We did pig, we did the ig family yesterday. We're going to do the ip family today. Okay, so a word family is a group of words that all have the same ending. Okay? So, we will, re we will repeat the cat later today. Okay, 
What? Oh, this is perfect. I didn't even do this on purpose. This is a picture of a what? Pirate ship. Oh, I don't know if it's a pirate ship, but it's definitely a ship. And guess who lives on a ship? <laughs> it says I, Pirate Pete, and I live on a ship. <laughs> do you live on a ship? No. No. This is no, my house. This you live in a house. This some is. people live in a house, some people live in an apartment, some people live in a condominium, and some people live other places as well. But I, Pirate Pete, live on a ship. Um, Pirate Pete, does this look like your ship? Why, yes it does, matey. That looks just like my ship that I live on. Well, you must have come a really long way, because if you live on a ship, you have to live on water. Ah, yes, my ship is on Lake And this Michigan. might even be your ship. Um, all right, Pirate Pete, are you going to come back and join us in a little bit? Yes, I'm going to get going and eat me breakfast. Okay. All um, right. But I do want to tell Pirate Pete. You know what? What do you want to tell him? And I'll help you remember for later. Um. Okay, if you remember, let me know. Okay. Ooh, here we go. This is a ship. Do you know what two letters make the yeah. shh sound today? Shh. Yeah. It's very close to the sound. And what two letters make the sound, Kinsey? What two letters make the sound? T-H. T-H. Very good. And do you know what makes the shh sound? It is S-H. So if we put an S-H in front of the IP, we get ship. S-H. Okay. Can you think of any other words? They can be make-believe, made-up words, or they can be real words um, that might belong in the IP family. Good morning, Carlos and Maddie. Um, thank you, Risa. Good morning, Nora. Um, any other words? Kinsey, can you think of another word that might be part of the IP family? Audrey says a word that begins with the L sound. If I wrote L, which is an L, L. I'll pick that up. Thank you. IP. L, IP. What is that word? That is the word lip. Very good. Um, we have another word. Ooh, something that we like to eat. That begins with a that begins with a sound. Which is a C and an H. C H says Just a second, Walls. We have chip. Very good. Okay, can you can you just stop putting those away right now? Because they're they're loud and I'm afraid everybody can't hear. Okay, very good. Ooh, we have lots of words. I am going to add another word here, and it's going to be the word. Uh, something that you I have right here. When I do this, I'm going to what my jacket. Z, that is the letter Z. Zip. Z. I. P. Very good. You guys are on a roll today. Well, let's see here. I have a jacket. Can you think of another word that belongs in the IP family? Any other word? Jacket. Jacket and ip. Do those sound the same? No. no. Take any letter. How about what is your what is the beginning? What's the first letter of your name? K. K. And what sound does K make? K. K. So if we put K in front of ip, we get Kip. Kip. Very good. K I P. Now take your last name. What's your last name? Jessen. Jessen. And what sound does Jessen begin with? J. It starts with a J sound, and that's the letter J. So if we put J in front of IP, we get Jip. Jip. Very good job, Kinsey. I'm just making my family. Now I'm going to do a I terrible family. P. All right, a couple more. Um, Kieran put a N in front of IP, and we get Rip. Nip. Like, watch out, the dog might take a nip at your fingers. Um, let's see here, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, 
Something that you might have with chips, with a chip, might be, you might put it in some, it starts with a d sound. Dip. Very good, dip. D-I-P. All right, one more. Um, ooh, this is a blend. Oh, this let's is going to be a can, terrible. Let's see if you can figure it out. Mommy, this is going to be a terrible one. S. L. That's my blend. Slow. And I add an ip. Slip. Be careful. Don't slip on the ice. Let's read our words together. I'll say it first. You repeat after me. Okay? I go first. You go second. Ready? Ship. Ship. Lip. Lip. Chip. Chip. Zip. job coming up. There were some other words that were said here. I see sip. I see skip. I see pip. I see rip and hip. And um, ooh, here, is a, here is a good one. Okay. Here's my word family. The ip family. Okay. Does this word, does this word that I'm going to write belong in the ip family. Are you ready? C H I C. Hmm. The it family. The it family. All of the words end in what two letters? I P. It. Hmm. Now chick sounds very close to chip and zip and kip but it, does it have the same ending? letter as all of the rest of these? No. So chick does not belong in the ip word family. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Um, that was great. Uh, a great little help, helpfulness. Um, okay. Um, thank you, Maria. I appreciate Mommy, that. Chip. So other words were pip and trip and drip Mommy. and snip. Look at those blends. Great job. Mommy, mommy. Yes, but okay. ship What's that again? Chip and chick. Dip. What are you asking? Um, what was that called again? The ip word family? Chip, ip, chick, ip. Do they belong together? Does this word chick belong with the ip family? Yes. No, it does not because it does not, it ends with a C rather than a P. They sound similar, but they're not. Okay. Which word begins like loose? Are you ready to listen? You're not going to repeat any of the words. You're just going to tell me which one begins like. Which word begins like loose? Left or pull? Pulled. Left. Beginning is at the is at the front of the word. This is my word right here. The beginning is over here. Okay. Loose. Left. Pull. Which which sound is at the beginning? Lose. Lose. Very good. My turn. Which word begins like after? Listen or ask? Listen. You gotta listen ask. really carefully. Which which ask. sound which which word begins like after? So you're listening for that a ah sound. Would it be listen or ask? Ask. Ask. Very good. Okay, listen carefully. Which word begins like five? Fire or long? Which word begins like five? Fire. Very good, Kinsey. Fire. Which word begins like burst? Boom or deep? Deep. Hmm? Burst. Burst. Which sound, which word begins like burst? What sound? Careful, pick up your water. Did it spill out? Yes, because not on her, her wheel only. Not right there. That's right there. Can there. you go get some, um, a towel from the bathroom and wipe that up, please? Why can't you just lick it up? That would be kind of gross to just lick it up. 
that in German. Okay, burst starts with a b sound, which word begins like burst, boom or deep. <laughs> boom. While well, I'm in the middle of something, please don't interrupt. My turn. Which word begins like home, kind or heart? The word is home. Which word begins like home, kind or heart? Heart. Very good, Kinsey. Okay. Get your smushers ready. We're going to do this in total speed because you guys are pros at this by now. Okay? Here we go. Um, I'm going to say the two parts. You're going to repeat the two parts and we're going to smush them together. Here we go. D I'm. Then you say after me, right, Kinsey? Come on. D. D. Okay, you need to come over here right now while we're doing this, please, and leave your cereal alone. Quickly, please. Have a seat right here. Okay, ready? You should be very professional at this, okay? Because you've done this a lot. Repeat after me. D. I'm. D. I'm. Dime. See, I told you, you're so good at it. My turn. In. Thin, yes, very good. My turn. L ode. L ode. No, try that again. L ode. L ode. Load. Load. Very good. My turn. Kinsey, watch my watch my mouth. Up. Hop. 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 Very good. My turn. M in. My turn. W ag. W ag. Wow. Yes, very good, my sweet child. Mwah. My turn. T ub. T um, tub. Yes, because you like to go in the tub. My turn. Hike. 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 Very good. I like to take a hike. Ready? Z ip. your tongue. My turn. Last one. Mm -hmm. Yes, like zip on my shirt. My turn. G eight. G eight. Gate. Close the gate. Very good. Okay, we're gonna punch up our, our ending sound. Ready? Repeat after me. Like. Like. Okay. Count me out. We've got only a couple. Feel. Feel. Oh, oh, oh. My turn. Home. Home. Mm, mm, mm. My turn. Lean. Lean. Mm, mm, mm. Last one. Stop. Very good job. All right. It is time for us to um, sing a song. So, we're going to sing a song that we haven't done in a while. I'm going to use my computer for this. And... I'm going to get out of that, and we're going to do the thankful song, a Miss Megan original song. And let me grab my words, because I think I remember all of them, but sometimes I don't. Mommy, ring the bell and I want a hug. Hug time? Like on the troll? All right, you guys ready? The thankful song. Um, you know what? I'm going to sit in the chair for this, because it looks comfortable. Hug time? Hi. Hug time. There's my chair. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. And now I want to give you a kiss. The thankful song. Oh, yeah.
warmth out of my skin and feeling the wind. This is what I'm thankful for. What beautiful rain makes me want to sing. This is what I'm thankful for. Here we go. Thankful in the morning, thankful after lunch, thankful in the A one, two, three, four, January, February, March, April, May. We go outside and play, play, play. June, July, August, and September. Back to school, so we read them. October, November, and December. We know our months, so we end the song here. We know our months, so we end the song here. All right. We are in the month of... February, bum, ba, ba, ba. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, oh, what is today? Today is I want your cha -cha -cha. Wednesday. We'll do my cha-cha-cha tomorrow. Because, <coughs> oh, don't start with that, please. Um, would you like to do purple? Purple. Would you like to do red or pink? I like red or purple. Would you like red or pink? No, red or purple. If you don't choose, I will choose for us. Red. These are not in order, which is why. You want to do red today? So our pattern is going to be red, pink, red, pink. And then it's going to go to another red then. No, that's, that won't be a pattern then. Right now, the pattern is going to be red, pink, red, pink. If you would like it to be something different, then we need to either change this to a, red, a pink, so it will be red, pink, pink. Keep it how it is? Keep it how it is. Okay, today is Wednesday. Can you just leave those on the ground for right now? Because they're really loud when you put them away. Just leave them there and lower I'll just it. put them in a pile. No, can you just not touch them, please? Because when you touch them, they're really loud on the um, um, microphone. The microphone picks it up and it's really loud. Why is this not? I can't see any comments right now. So let me just uh, see if I can rectify that situation. There we go. Did I move my classroom? Um, that is a question. Not recently, no. We were in the basement to begin camp kindergarten almost a year ago. And then we moved into the first floor over the summer and we are now upstairs. And we've been upstairs since September. What am I doing, Miss Megan? 
Isn't that a great question? Do I ever know what I'm doing? No. Well, I'm just kidding, I do. Okay, let's do our Sunday, Monday songs. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it snowy out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it cloudy? Is it windy? Is it foggy out today? What is the weather like where you are? Kinsey, what's the weather like where we are? Good morning, Harper. And um, sunny and... Good morning, Noma. We have and sunny, blue sky and sunny. snow. It is snowy. It is not snowing. Snowing means it's happening right this minute. It's not snowing, but it is snowy out. There is snow all over the ground. And it's sunny blue sky. It is sunny. Is it hot, warm, cool, or cold today, Kinsey? Cold. cold. It is cold today. That's right. All right, so our weather is cold, sunny, and uh, snowy. What's the weather like where you are? It's freezing cold in Vero Beach, Florida. Here is Florida. Florida is this green state over here. Warm and sunny in Texas. Can I come visit? Um, Mom. I'm just kidding. I cannot come down and visit. Um, sunny, snowy, and cold in Ohio. Ohio is this blue state over here. Um, uh, yesterday we had somebody tuning in from Germany. Germany is another country across the ocean. Um, let's see here. It is cold, snowy, and finally sunny. Here in Minnesota, Minnesota is the green state. Kinsey, can you please stop talking? Can sail. Please stop talking. Thank you. Um, it is sunny and 58 in Oklahoma. 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 Where are you? There you are. Oklahoma. Um, I, mean, I have to tell the pirate something. If I listen okay. to someone else, I forget. Okay. What do you need to tell Pirate Pete? Where? Oh, you need me to put Pirate Pete on. Pirate Pete would like to know what the weather's like today. Arr, what is the weather today? Kinsale, did you have something to tell me? Where do pirates sleep on pirate ships? Ah, that is a great question. Where do pirates sleep in pirate ships? Well, wherever we feel like sleeping. Sometimes it's the hard floor. Sometimes it's a bed. Sometimes it's on the plank, but we have to be careful if we're on the plank. Where do you sleep, Kinsale? In my bed. That sounds comfortable. Thanks for sharing. I'm well, we move in my bed. Yes, I see that. Toodaloo, I'll be back soon. All right, it is flurry and flurries and cloudy in Connecticut. Connecticut is right over here. Why did you ask me why do I sleep in my bed? I don't know. Um, it is sunny in Brooklyn, New York. New York is over here, the Green State. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum, bum. Sunny in Milwaukee. That is from Hadassah. Milwaukee is part of Wisconsin. Uh, Jada says it's sunny and freezing cold in Alabaster, um, which is Birmingham, Alabama. This blue state right here. Thank you all for sharing what your weather is like today. If I did not say what your weather is like, please know that I'm reading it. Um, sunny and 40 degrees in California. Right over here, and there's snow in the mountains. Sounds like fun. All right, let us do our days in school and see how many days we have been doing camp kindergarten in this school year. We've been doing camp kindergarten for many, many days. Let's see where we're at. We need to add one straw to the ones cup. We're going to add one straw to the ones cup and let us count and see how many days we have been in camp kindergarten. Yesterday we counted to 88. If we're adding one more straw, what number do you think we're going to count to today? 87, 88, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80.
going to have a 10 pack. You are right. And what number will we? What number will we be at tomorrow? Ten. No, not Nine. yet. What? Nine. No. If we're at 89 today, and we're adding one more straw tomorrow, we're making a 10 pack. What will the number be? Ten. 89. 80. Ten. Not 80. Ten. We'll have to figure that out tomorrow, won't we? All right, today is 89 days in Camp Kindergarten. We are approaching 100 days. We'll do something special on the 100th day of Camp Kindergarten. All right, let us read a book. All right, I'm going to sit in the chair because that was really comfortable, and it's been here all Camp Kindergarten, all 89 days of Camp Kindergarten, and I'm just now realizing um, what great fun it is to sit in a comfortable chair while doing Camp Kindergarten. So, here we go. Today we're going to read a book called Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. Why do you think we are reading a book about Pete the Cat? Kenzie, why do you think I chose the book um, Pete the Cat? I don't know. I don't even think about it. Well, what letter does Pete's name start with? P. <gasps> the letter P. For Very good. Pirate and Pete. All right. Do you want to watch this book? Do you want to watch me read this book? Do you want to look at the pictures? Pete the cat. Yeah. And my friends will help. And the missing cupcakes. Ooh. I wonder what the story's going to be about. Let me wait until I go potty. Go quickly, princess. Pete the cat and the missing cupcakes. Go ahead, hurry up. I'm not I'm not starting, I'm just talking about it. Um, Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. What do you think this book is going to be about? Hmm. What do you think this book is going to be about? Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. Well, let's look at our, our cover of the book. There's Pete the Cat. And what's in front of him? A bunch of cupcakes. How many cupcakes are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> what do you see over there? I see some hands. And what do you think those hands are doing? <gasps> are they taking a cupcake? Is that a clue as to what might happen to our cupcakes? Hmm. Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes is written by M Kimberly and James Dean. Hmm. Let's see here. Well, should we open the book all the way and see the front and the back cover while we're waiting for Kenzie? Hmm. hmm. I wonder whose hands those are. Well, let's see, some of it here are some of his friends. There's his cupcakes on the windowsill. And a uh, squirrel, and who is that? Who is that, duck? I don't, I don't know what that is. All right, are you ready? Did you wash your hands? Yes. Did you wash your hands? Yes. Can I smell them? Or you wanna go wash them? Smell them. Oh, you did. Good job. Okay. Uh, where will I sit? Um, would you like to bring a chair over? Or would you like to sit on the floor? Pete the cat. Uh, and the missing cupcake. Uh, wait, wait. Where are they? Uh, Pete and Gus. This is Gus. Pete and Gus were busy as could be. They were getting ready for the cupcake party. It started at three. They've got their milk and their flour. What is Pete the cat doing? You need to sit all the way down in the chair so you don't fall. What is he doing? He's stirring. <gasps> He's stirring the, Bad. the batter. He did not do that on purpose, but sure, that sure did work out, didn't it? Ma He's Mom, stirring the I batter. Think that's why you you chose this book <laughs> because it's cupcakes. They were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. Let's count them together. Everybody count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten cupcakes. They had ten when they were done. Oh no! Hang on! Some of the cupcakes were gone. They were sure there had been ten. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are only eight cupcakes. How many are missing? Two. 
That's right. If we had ten, if we had ten cupcakes, here are my cupcakes. I'm just gonna make circles for them. Okay. If we had ten cupcakes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now there's only eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many are missing? Two. Two. So we can say 10 minus two equals, I can't do that one upside down, eight. Okay? All right, Mommy, let's keep reading. Just a minute. Mommy, I want to show you something. That's John and that's Pete. That's Gus and that's Pete. All right. No, no. Some of the cupcakes were gone. They were sure there had been 10. Pete said, maybe we need to count again. They, count the cup they counted the cupcakes lined up straight. Now, there were only eight. It looked like someone had taken two. two. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, oh, they found a clue. Gus said, look what I have found. Sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was Squirrel. She loves sprinkles. Squirrel said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been at the spelling bee. Uh-oh. More cupcakes are missing. Come and see. <gasps> oh, that, this was too weird. How many cupcakes are here? One, two, three. Four, five, six. six. <gasps> How many are missing now? Uh, How many were taken? I don't remember. Well, we had eight cupcakes, right? Yeah. And now there are how many? Six. There's six cupcakes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many were missing? Two. Two. So we had eight. And we took away two. And how many are left? Six. Six cupcakes are left. So we say eight mm -hmm. minus two equals? Six. No matter what. <gasps> Shut up. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's keep reading. I already know who's that taking them. was too weird. I already know okay. who's taking Shh. them. Two more cupcakes had disappeared. Now there were only six. Someone must be playing tricks, but who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. <gasps> Just then, they found another clue. Whose feet are they? Crocodile. Crocodile feet? Oh, yeah. Pete said, I bet it was Alligator. He loves to eat. Alligator said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. Uh-oh. More cupcakes are missing. Come what? and see. Oh, now there were how many? One, One two, two, three, four. four. Okay. Uh -oh. There are four cupcakes now. We had how many? How many were up there? The last, yeah. the last time we checked. Yeah. The last time we checked, there were six cupcakes. One, two, three, four, five, six. But now there are only how many? Four. Four. One, two, three, four. So how many are now gone? Two. Two more. So we had six. And we took away two. And how many are left? Four. What? So we Mommy. say six minus two equals four. Put toppings on them. Put toppings on them? Yeah. That will make it like a real ice cream. Ugh. That ice cream is good. Here are my toppings. The best I can do on the short term. Okay. Use your imagination. There we go. All right, let's keep reading. <gasps> now there were only four. Someone had taken... Two more. But who? <laughs> Pete and Gus did not know what to do. <gasps> Just then they found another clue. 
What's the clue? There's a ladder. There's a ladder. So it must be somebody who is not very tall. tall. I bet it was turtle, said Pete. I know turtle loves sweets. Okay, there's four up there. It's not turtle. Okay, shh, I know you know the answer. <gasps> turtle said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. Mommy. I've been swimming in the sea. Look at that, look at that. <gasps> Are we catching them in the act? Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Yeah, he's in the kitchen. <gasps> what on earth was going on? All the cupcakes were now gone. Okay, there were how many cupcakes up there? There were four cupcakes up there. One, two, three, four. But guess what? All of them were gone. This one was gone, this one was gone, this one was gone, this one was gone. If there were four cupcakes and all four of them disappeared, how many are left? Make a zero! Zero! So we say four minus four equals zero! Pete and Gus did not know what to do. They started looking for another clue. So there's one clue to the ladder, one clue to the sprinkles, one clue to the footprints leading away. Grayson thinks it's a frog. Anybody other have any other guesses? Frog. You think it's frog? Why do you think it's frog? Well, I know you know that, but what are the clues? How? What clues tell you that you think it's a frog? Frogs use two on one and then two right next to mm. them. Are frogs um, tall? No. So might they need a ladder to get up to the window so? No. Unless they hopped up there. Let's see. Yeah. They found Grumpy Toad with icing on his face. There's Grumpy Toad. There's Grumpy Toad icing on his face. Pete and Gus have solved the case. I am so sorry. It was me. I could not stop with just one. I ate and ate till there were... None. Kashav thinks it's a frog too. You guys were right. Everyone agreed. Grumpy Toad would have to miss the fun. He could not come after what he had done. Pete said, but wait. Grumpy Toad made a mistake. This is true. Let's give him a second chance. That's what friends do. Pete told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance. He was so excited he did a happy dance. Yeah! The night of the party was so much fun. Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. Did he make the, Did he make it right? Even though he took all the cupcakes, did he do something nice in return and make yeah. more cupcakes for everybody? Yeah. So so Pete the cat and John can yes. and Pete and Gus. And that, and the owl, and that. It says, that. Pete the Cat's Cupcake Party. And those people. Look at all those delicious cupcakes. Ah. All right, ah. we only have a few more minutes, and we still need to do our morning Mommy. message, kids. Okay? Mommy. Yep. Okay, let's go. Mommy. Yeah. All of them are eating cupcakes. All right, cupcakes. let's do our morning message real fast. Uh. We need policewoman Penny and Pirate Pete to come join us. For, uh oh, whoa, uh whoa, -oh, uh -oh. sorry everybody, to join us for our message today. We're gonna need to do this very, very quickly. Thank, thank you for taking it off ever so carefully so that we don't uh, mess up our writing. Okay, we need to do this so super fast because we're running out of time. We're running out of time. Would you like to do please one penny? I hope so, Mom. Okay. Can they right. see me? Um, maybe a little bit. Hello, mateys. It's so great to see you. Today we're going to read a message and look for letter P's. Are you ready to help me? Ha, ha, ha. Here we go. Dear class. Mom, you really need to say that no one can hear you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's say hello to policewoman Penny. And yep, you can see Hi there, Police Penny. How are you? It's so great to see you again, Policewoman Penny. High five to you. 
Boop. Okay, let's keep reading because we're running out of time. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. Police woman Penny and Pirate Pete like to eat pineapples, pears, peanuts, and pizza. Police woman Penny and Pirate Pete like to eat pineapples, pears, peanuts, and pizza. Love, Miss Megan. Love me. Arr, I just love me some pineapple pizza. So do I. I think it's delicious. All right, I need to go because you're almost out of time, and you need to find your capital and lowercase letter P's. Toodle. All right. Wow. Moving right along. Kenzie. Oh, I got a map. Yeah, we don't need a map right now. We need to find all of the capital letter P's. What does a capital letter P look like? We start at the sky. We go down to the ground. We lift up our marker and put it back in the sky, and we do a forward circle to the fence. Kinsey, do you want me to circle them, or do you want to? Okay, circle them quickly. See how fast you can do it. Ready, set, go. Find all the capital P's and circle them in green. Find all the capital P's and circle them in green. I see, nope, that's not a capital P. That is not a capital P either. Capital P, a capital P, a capital P is very large to see. Very good, that is a capital letter P. Uh, there's another one here and another one here. See how, do you, do you see how um, the capital letter P is above higher than all of the lower ones, uh, all of the um, lowercase letters. They stand, they stand up higher. Yes, there are three capital letter. Nope, there are more than three capital letter P's. How many capital letter P's are there? One, two, three, four. Down and over and down some more. That's the way we make a four. Sorry to interrupt you, but I have something for you. Okay, right, not right now, because we are finishing up. We, time is up. I love you too, Wes. That's very lovely. Thank no, you. I mean, it's for you. Okay, shh, please stop. We are at our, the end of our time and we need okay. to finish. A, lo a lowercase p, we start at the fence. Boop, 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 boop. And we go down into the dirt, back up to the fence, and around to the ground. Kinsey, can you find all of the lowercase p's? Lowercase p's, let's circle them in purple, please. Lowercase p, lowercase p's, let's circle them in purple, please. One. Two. I don't want to count the one on the Over here. There's no more up above. I'm helping you out because we are out of time. Yep. One more. Very good. All right, how many lowercase p's? One, two, three, four. Four. Down and over and down some more. That's the way we make up four. Kenzie. How many letter P's are there all together? Let us count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make an S and don't be late. Hurry back up and make an eight. Okay, you keep doing that while I was going to this one. Do you know where the lid is for this marker? Nope. Me either. Very nice job! Look at that eight. She did such a great job. All right, it's guess what? Shiny because this is Our time is up. Uh, we have a lot of fun today. Sang some good songs. Read a great book. And it is time for a couple of birthday shout-outs. That's happy birthday. Belated birthday. You turned six on Sunday. Scarlet, happy birthday to you. Oh, there's two peas and pineapples. <gasps> there's three peas and pineapples. Oh, time out. Let's go back. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's try that again. We did this not correct. Thank you, thank you, thank you for catching our mistake. Pineapple had some tricky peas. <laughs> Look at this. There are three peas and pineapple. Oh my goodness. Oh, I found the, the lid. Okay. Check it out. There's one. Scooch over so they can see. There's one at the beginning, and then there's two peas next to each other. We missed those. It happens when you go fast. Okay, nope, one at a time. Good. Good. All right, now let's now let's count our lowercase p's. One, two, 
three, four, five, six lowercase p's. A line and a loop. Mr. Six rolls a hoop. I want to make it. Okay, right here. Okay. You have to make it in the square. It's fine because it's going underneath the square. Thing. Make a six, please. And now let's count how many p's there are all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A one and a zero makes a ten. I gotta find my eraser. Where did it go? There it is. So we say four plus six equals ten. Very good. All right. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. That's what happens when you go fast. You make mistakes, but then you make them better. Okay. Happy birthday, Scarlett. You are turning four. If it is your birthday and I do not know, happy birthday to you. Let us sing a one, a two, a three. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, because if it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. All right. Let's blow out the candle with our letter P sound. One, two, three. Very good job. All right, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll be back here tomorrow, Thursday, at 8.15. Um, and just a reminder, next week will be our winter break of Camp Kindergarten. And we will not have camp next week. Um, so, remember that what makes you different is what makes you beautiful. Always do your best to be kind and choose your attitude. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Toodaloo!